Hey everybody, how's it going? Here we are. This is my long overdue review of my Music Man, Steve Lukather, Loop 3. It is the Desert Burst Maple Top Finish. It has the Hum Single Single has the DB booster it actually runs um, a little preamp through there can't really tell so much on the um, electric so let's cut it right over here to the so if you're doing like you know like That DB booze. Pretty much what that does. And it still works as a tone control. Quieter right now. So let's go over some specs because everybody likes their specs. Like I said, this is a Music Man uh, Steve Luke their model. It's the L3, Luke 3. It has an all rosewood neck. That means the neck itself is rosewood and the fretboard is rosewood. It's got medium jumbo stainless steel frets, 22 of them. It has the Rowan nut adjuster, so you don't have to pop your stuff off, you just do it right on the fly. It has a DiMarzio Steve Lukather pickups. It's got the transition and the bridge. And it's got one of these is like a 59 type. They're just, I don't know, I forgot what they call they're like single coils. Pretty much what they say, they're just single coils. His scale length is 25 and a half. Um, like I said, you can adjust your DB boost. It's got the Music Man vintage tremolo, which works really slick, oddly enough. It's shallow lock and tuners. Uh, everything on this is metal, pretty much. I mean, even the back plates. And uh, yes, due to some very cool people. I ended up getting this signed by Steve. Um, so this will never leave my position now. Pretty cool little wangy bar deal. What's it sound? What's it sound like and how's it play? <laughs>
this thing set up pretty good, man. I'm only running my gain on half on this rolling cube. Clean channel sounds pretty good too. Take a little bit of the, a little bit more of the gain out of that puppy. Put it in a little warmer situation. Yes, ah. Sounds good. If you do something with like a, without a lot of gain, go down to this puppy here, crank this, crank this. aggressive man you can like get some really good like metallica type tones out of it my favorite thing I like about it though this guitar you do not have to wrestle it to play it this guitar plays smooth, and you can get any tone you want out of it. I mean, if I had time to sit here and monkey with this and play it out, it a little bit better ahead. And if I was a better player, you know. But anyhow, this is the Luke 3 music band, Steve Luke, their signature model, and Desert Burst Flame Maple Top. 
It is a beautiful guitar. It plays slick. Um, they're a little little pricey. The Lukathers are pricey, but it, do yourself a favor, you know. I mean, pretty much everybody lives near a guitar center now. Go in one, grab one off the wall, and just play it. I tell guys this all the time. Instead of buying four guitars to do your one job, buy one guitar that will do all four jobs. And just make you a better player. And uh, I know people say, guitar don't make you a better player. No, sometimes it does. It's the way it feels in your hand. And they just sound good, man. They sound good. They play good. They sound good. They feel good. They play good. It's built like a freaking tank. You wouldn't expect it to be as heavy as it is either. This sucker's gonna be like eight pounds. You know, and they, um, another thing, this particular model right here, the body's a little bit bigger than the normal body for the Lukes. It's a special edition that <laughs> Guitar Center had made for them. Um, they did a certain number of them. And, uh, I don't know, I just like the color. My wife liked the color, so. But she liked the color, I got to have it. Very cool. Right there, see that? Yeah, it's like made in the USA. It's right upside down, but you get the hint, right? Oh, and the back is, um, it's a satin back, which, as we all know, the fat man loves his satin bags. Anyway, very cool guitar. My suggestion would be go pick the sucker up. Um, they did great. I don't know what else I can say about it. I don't know, I'm right shit bag tired, so I look like an asshole filming this, but you know, whatever. It's just really good stuff. you get out of this thing, they just come out of nowhere, it's really cool. The only person I really hear that gets harmonics on the guitar really well is uh, Yormer Spaziano. It's a dude that does uh, this for the day thing I speak of. There's a band called Asterion. Maybe uh, if he watches this, he'll leave something out of the comment of why I'm getting crazy harmonics off this thing, but it does harmonics without really having to be pushed. No gain, this notes are chimey. Music Man, Luke 3, check it out for yourself. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.